Alright, it's time for another Lamar Aismo video. And, um, let's call this one How You Gonna Pay For That. Uh, <laughs> and, um, this is, uh, DJ Chump's uh, Space Force that he, um, so graciously is going to provide We The People another multi-trillion dollar organization that will be used for the further enslavement of humanity and warmongering and uh, murdering innocent people and taking their goods. That's all this is going to be. And you have some idiots already defending. I left a comment on one video to, to this effect. Uh, you know, it's how you're going to pay for that. Because anytime there's a policy mentioned, that is for the good of the majority of the population here in the United States. That's the first question that's asked. How are you going to pay for that? Just like Bernie Sanders' um, public funded college um, for public uh, uh, state universities and, you know, that sort of thing. You know, how are you going to pay for that? In which it would have cost $59 billion a year, but considering that DJ Chump tremendously increased the military budget, I believe uh, $100 billion, then an additional $80 billion on top of that money the Pentagon didn't even ask for. There was no how you're going to pay for that from the conservatives and the Republicans. But again, anytime it's something to do with the people, there's a problem. But uh, on a side note, uh, I was watching uh, something about the Mossad, and uh, they said uh, the, basically the, the, the role of the Mossad, or their, uh, one of their mottos is um, that's it's like an unofficial motto because their whole um, their official motto is "By deception, thou shalt make war." You know, but we're supposed to believe Israel is this innocent state and it doesn't cause any problems for not only its neighbors, but for the world at large with a model like that. Anyway, uh, he said the world, the world of Mossad is first, last and always and forever. Israel. So, you know, just keep that in mind. That's their intelligence agency. It's all about itself, which is Mossad, and then Israel comes after that, and that screw everyone else. And as I've stated before, the U.S. wants to take this freak show into space, and it threatens other countries' satellites and, um, you know, the man-made satellites that we put, that humanity has put into space. Some of them are for commercial reasons, and some of them are for things as mundane as the weather. But the United States wants to weaponize these things. And keep in mind, there's already a treaty, just like with Antarctica. Antarctica is not supposed to be weaponized. There's not supposed to be any bases used to project power or dominance over uh, opposing countries. The same applies for space. It's supposed to be for research and the betterment of humanity. I'm going to turn this down a bit. I don't know how loud it's going to come out and... Hopefully, you all can still hear me. But as you can see, I'm still in Slave Landia because we couldn't have Labor Day off because there was some essential work that needed to be done. So anyway, there's no respect for labor in this country anyway, uh, you know, which, which is unfortunate, but that's it should be the most respected uh, thing in the country because that's what actually makes things that make life better for not only for the barnacle class like the Rothschilds and um everyone else who falls um you know in within that category beneath them you know it makes it the, the, the actual labor in the exchange of work to create goods and services is actually what makes the world go round but you know a lot of you people want to have us subordinated to people who don't work, which is why I call them barnacles. Uh, anyway, um, the space is going to be the final frontier of this freak show. And the United States, Russia and China have already proposed to set up um, arms limitations and, and, and 
and peace treaties and guarantees on not weaponizing space. But the United States does not want to sign these sort of treaties. Why? Because we have a military industrial complex barnacle that we need to feed. Macron also wants to uh, join the freak show in space. And I think, you you know, and the French people, unfortunately, are going to be dragged into this as well. Even though France um, can't seem to satisfy its population either with the whole yellow vest thing going on. Which, which by the way, kudos to the French people for actually not being slacktivists. Like, and I'm including myself in that category. But actually taking it to the streets, but... As we can see, it does no good. If enough people don't participate, protests are they're really counterproductive. And by the way, the Mossad actually have agents trained to inject people with various uh, harmful things. Uh, that's one of their trainings is to do, uh, infiltrate demonstrations and inject people with stuff. So, But these are the good guys. I was watching, um, there's a good channel, uh, by the way, here on YouTube called Telesur. Uh, along with Press TV, those are my favorite um, state-sponsored news organizations. Because they actually do good reporting. And it's reporting on behalf of the people. The general population of the world that does most of the work but bears most of the burden and, and bears most of the brunt of the hostility of the uh, Jewish controlled financial class. So check out Telesaur. But it was a guy saying some off the wall stuff. Saying that they already have wormhole technology. They basically already discovered wormholes. And he said that there's like Star Wars type technology already. I mean. I, you know. I don't think so. Um, if there were wor wormholes. We would be taking this freak show to other planets. With uh, actual life on it, and we'd be ruining life on other planets, it's, uh, like the same way we do it here on Earth. Uh, so I, I, I seriously doubt that this, you know, we have wormholes and this sort of thing. Most, of, the main thing that I want to stress, though, is that space is a waste of money. For now, we can't take care of and manage the resources here. And we could be much much further along in space. We could probably have colonies on the moon or in orbit or actually um, in that asteroid belt. We could be mining those for valuable resources. But um, as long as we punish most of the majority of the population with enslavement to the, the financial class, we'll never have that. Because until things become um, economically exploitable, there's no money and research put into it by by governments or, you know. We would have never got into space if it wasn't for the communist Soviet Union, probably. Because they actually took the intellectual capacity and, and, and put it towards stuff like that. There was no profit to be made off of sending Sputnik into space initially. Anyway... The United States and Australia, um, the, the Anglophone, and this is for you white nationalists. If, if the, the people who the people of Europe should be mad, up, mad at the most are English people and people of English descent or just people of the British island in general, they subordinated the world to the Rothschilds. They were Rothschilds' first hammer. They went everywhere around the world, subjecting the world to this cruel economic system, destroying people's ways of life, their culture, languages, etc., all for the sake of, uh, of an ugly tribe so they can build their temple of doom in Jerusalem. Anyway, um, the United States and Australia helped commit war crimes in, in uh, Indonesia uh, the region now known as East Timor that's now independent. 